We just finished testing the Bullet 21 SDC. Now this is their tournament bass boat, hair on fire with a Mercury Pro XS 250. Gone on plane in 2.7 seconds. Very little bow rise for a bass boat. A lot of times they go way up. This one came up just a little bit. When you take off with the Pro XS, there's a little bit of hesitation. But man, when it comes on, it comes on like gangbusters. We got to 30 miles an hour in 7.2 seconds. And our top speed was, drum roll, 82.1 miles an hour. I used to have a hat, actually. Unbelievable, but you know what's really cool about this hull is it's so stable. You know, you get it rolling, start trimming it up, and it just floats, and it just feels like you have a lot of control, which is really important when you're going fast. Let's head back to the dock and check out some of the features of this boat. Tom, uh, tell me about this boat. What is this mainly geared for? Uh, this is the tournament angler's boat. Um, it has plenty of storage space, uh, 21 foot, 10 inches in length. Um, it's got everything you need. Yeah, it looks like the fisherman's office for sure. Now tell me about the bow section here. Yeah, the bow section consists, you know, of course, of the trolling motor and the recess pan. Um, the recess pan at Bullet, we configure that in any position the angler chooses. So, you know, if you want it further back, you want it further forward, uh, we, can, we can do that. That's cool. Now what do we have underneath the hatches here? Um, under the uh, port rod lock, this is the port rod locker, uh, accommodates nine rods. Uh, the center storage hatch raises up, it's uh, shock assist, and of course it's got storage all the way to the bow. So a lot of anglers, they use uh, rod socks or, you know, they'll put uh, put the rods in the center or, you know, use it for storage. Over on the on the starboard side, we have a day box slid in the back uh, that accommodates nine planos. You can put up to 18 uh, in front of it, again, storage or rods. Oh, tell me what we have at the helm here. At the helm here we have tilt steering, tilt wheel, uh, we have the uh, power, uh, we have the trim for the motor uh, on, the, on the column so you can keep both hands on the wheel while adjusting the trim. We have the Smartcraft gauges uh, with all the information on the tack um, and we also have an in-dash uh, depth finder. It looks like the co-angler has a nice little uh, area back here as well. Yeah, we've added some, uh, we've added some room in the back of the boat. Uh, we've moved our console and, and seat forward um, to you know, give, the, give the back uh, deck a little more room. Now what do we have going on? Uh, on the back deck, we have two dry storage boxes on, uh, behind the driver and passenger seat. Uh, those open to the outside where earlier models open to the back. Um, also, the uh, live well is a, is a, is a two-piece lid and it has a removable divider. Um, the rear lid, we, we sectioned it off where you, our older boats had one lid and it was harder to you know, get to any batteries, breakers, or anything on the back. On the back. So we've made three lids where you can, you know, get to get your storage. Right. For more information on the Bullet 21 SDC and other great boats, go to BoatingWorld.com. I'm Alan Jones and we'll see you out on the water.